Welcome back. Still tuned into Power Breakfast on CNBC TV 18. Uh, let's talk about commodities now. A lot of action happening there as well. Manisha Gupta is joining us with all the update. Hey, Manisha, good morning. Morning, Sonal. Thank you so much for that. Well, the metals are extending decline on weak China data that we saw come in yesterday. And the fact that China hasn't come in with the major stimulus measures even now is what's weighing onto the market. So even as the last week was on a positive one, this week for the second straight day today, we've seen further declines come in for the metal prices. Also, there is rising Chinese output. The Shanghai inventories have been rising and that's weighing on as well. So not just the non-ferrous metals, but steel is now trading at a near five-week lows. You have coal prices trading at a two-year lows right now. And after the overnight decline in the crude oil prices, where we saw both the varieties decline by nearly 1.5%, there's a half a percent of an increase coming in for the Asian markets right now. And this is ahead of the U.S. weekly data that will tell you on what kind of inventories are we looking at in U.S. I mean, remember, this is the major summer driving season demand right now. So weekly inventories right now are quite uh, supportive of the prices. And that's exactly where the markets are taking cues from. Okay, all right. So that's what's happening in the crude oil market. Thank you, Manisha, for getting us up to speed with that one.